Hi, uh, I am Bilby and I'm a 25 year old non-binary artist from Australia. Um, you may know me as the creator of Rechargeable, Questables, Preheat or the newest Tapas Mascot. Um, I love creating characters and finding ways to make character driven stories. For three years I've also been streaming on Twitch TV uh, where I've gotten a chance to uh, grow and improve my stories, characters and art style with the help of a wonderful and encouraging community. Since October 2017, I've been a full-time artist, which means I work from home and get to move at my own pace. I'm quite a night owl, uh, so that means I get to really take my time in the mornings. I'll make several cups of tea and sit down and check through emails and to-do lists. Having a bullet journal and apps like Habitica really, really help uh, drive productivity when it's just you holding yourself accountable. I'll then spend most of my day drawing and working through commissions. Uh, which mostly consists of emotes for Twitch streamers. I can finish anywhere from 5 to 10 emotes a day uh, and then usually try to spend my evenings watching TV with my housemate or playing video games to unwind. The kind of LGBT representation that I crave is more about the everyday folk. Um, I want to see more queer people involved in all kinds of stories and not just uh, coming of age and queer specific storylines. I've tried to write stories with drama and adventure that just happen to include a full cast of LGBT characters. Just to show that, you know, we exist out in the world and we have identities beyond our sexualities. It's also been quite therapeutic uh, to take my own insecurities and write them into characters that thrive beyond them. Uh, I get to take the fears of me and my friends and just try to validate the individuality of the LGBT community. My first and favourite was Hot Blood by Toro Oleski, and though I loved following along with it, creating my own comic was never really at the forefront of my mind until I went through university and hit a rough patch of mental health and just really needed to switch gears. I was studying video game design and was in my last semester when I decided to drop out and start producing Rechargeable full time. Everything kind of snowballed from there, I guess, and I just moved on from one project to the next, sort of going through the motions, and even though I eventually finished my degree, don't worry, uh, I've always sort of struggled with the idea of quitting and not finishing something, but I've learned that it's, it's always more important to put your health and happiness first. I've been making comics for like four years now, and after hitting the same roadblocks over and over, I'm starting to think that maybe the format just isn't for me. It's always sad to have to cancel something and leave the fans without content, but I am really excited to get back into full-scale illustration and just try to further my art beyond this like comic comfort zone that I've made for myself. At the end of the day, it's okay to switch gears, you know, when you pick something that you're going to do if you're making a project or if you're picking an art medium. You don't have to stick to that for the rest of your life. It's good to experiment with new things and change and I'm so happy that I spent the last four years making comics and now I'm really excited to see what comes next.